Well, hello, folks. Uh, just putting a new set of tuners on my old Pat's caster here. The other ones have uh, kind of taken their course, and one of them broke, and a couple of them are getting really bad. So we're going to change them out today. I'm putting some... Uh, these are some old-style Fender tuners that I had that are still good. So... Uh, we're going to install those. Now, these ones here have the two little alignment pins that stick out right there. So, you have to drill a couple holes before it will sit down flat. You know what I mean? So, what I like to do is, uh, when I do these, I like to put the first one and last one on first. And what I'll do is just kind of align those to a straight edge. That way I know everything is nice and straight. And uh, once I get it to that point, what I usually do is take a hammer and set the te them two dimples. Now I can see them really good now. Uh, so what I just use for a hammer, this is a... This ham is made out of uh, animal hide that's rolled up. You know, they wet it down and then nail it together. It's really hard, but it won't mar up your, your tunas. So that's why I like to use it. Okay, so now that we've got that done, you could do this in a drill press if you'd like, or whatever's easiest for you. And I'm just going to drill these two in. Be careful not to go too deep because you don't want to come out through the other side. You may laugh, but that has actually happened to me before. Sometimes when you're drilling into this stuff, you'll hit a like a little air void or something or a, or a hard piece of grain and the drill bit will walk and not only will it walk sometimes it'll just as I you start to drill in there it'll just go boom, right through it happens so just be careful of that um, so now that I've got the two in there it's just gonna make it a lot easier for me to line up the other ones so again, same process. We'll set the next tuner in there. Hold the block of wood up. Make sure everything's nice and straight. And that looks pretty good. You know, this isn't an exact science, but it works pretty good. You could make a Mac on there as well, like a reference Mac if you wanted to. Okay, so I only got one that time. Uh, I can feel the other one though, so. Okay. We have two marks now. So we'll go ahead and drill those. And get that taken care of. So the first one's kind of faint, but that looks pretty close right there. All right. Now the drill bit I'm using is just a little bit bigger than these alignment pins. Uh, just for ease of installation mostly. You want to be able to uh, have those go in. They still fit tight anyway so you know a little bit bigger isn't going to hurt. I'm just widening those out a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. So, get this one spun around the right way. And we're off to the races. So, again, I'll use these to, to help align for the next set. So, 
I won't bore you with that right now. Let's just uh, keep drilling and I'll keep punching some holes in here and we'll have them in in no time. Okay, so we got them all installed here. They're just sitting there. I haven't put the, the uh, hardware on the back side yet, but we're going to get to that right now. Uh, not a big deal to do, and, uh, you know, like I said, it's good to use a little bit bigger bit. You know, obviously you want them two little alignment pins to fit tight, but sometimes, you know, they might be a little crooked. You know, it's hard to do this just doing it like I am by hand sometimes, so, uh... You know, make some good reference marks with a pencil, that helps. And, uh, you know, you can drill those just a little bit bigger, not much though. So that way, if you have to turn the tune or twist it one way or the other, if it's kind of crooked, you have that option. And, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna f affect anything. You tighten these nuts down that I'm installing right now and, them ain't gonna have a move in a thousand years so you know I like to have them straight that's key with me I I don't like my tuners all crooked so uh, that's why I do it and like I said I haven't had any problems at all with that so uh, these ones don't take any any screws in the back side here at all it's just the alignment pins that hold them so you know, like I said, don't drill your holes too big, but you can go a little bit, and that, that will just help you, uh, you know, as far as aligning them side to side. So, I think we're looking pretty good now. I'm just going to get a 10 millimeter wrench and tighten these up. We should be good to go. It's not really hard. Every, you know, tuners are all kind of different how they, their installation procedures for each, for each company can be a little bit different. Uh, these are kind of the hardest ones to put in, really, honestly, when you have to line, you know, make the holes for the alignment pins and you have to get that stuff pretty true, you know what I mean? So they do make some that you just push them through and tighten the nut like I'm doing right now and there's no screw on the back or anything and you know they work I guess but I like to have some sort of anchor in the back either the alignment pins or a screw uh, and then it guarantees you that these ain't gonna twist or move so those look pretty good to me, nice and straight. I look at the gap across the headstock and make sure that's all good. And they look pretty good on the back too. So, well, that takes care of that. And, uh, you know, that's something you guys could do yourself. It's not a tough job, really, honestly. And, you know, tunas wear out. That's what it is. So you got to replace them sometimes and... That's how you do those ones, you know, the, uh, I've put them all on the lockers, the new lock style ones are good. They usually take one screw in the back, sometimes two, and it's the same kind of science. They just, you know, tighten this way with a knot and a washer on the front side. And like I said, you may put a, uh, an anchor screw in the back of the tuner itself, but not all of them. Some of them don't. Uh, just make sure you don't drill through the headstock. That's big. Sometimes, you know, you want to measure the, before you order tuners, it's not a bad idea to take one out. Just remove one tuner, measure the hole, make sure all your measurements are right. So you order the right tuners and you're not drilling holes in the headstock, you know, to enlarge, which I have done that too. If you do that, use a reamer. Don't just drive a drill bit in there because it'll it'll blow chunks of wood out on the back side and you won't be happy. Trust me. Uh, you know, 
we learn by our mistakes. That's what it is. So I'm trying to save you guys a little heartache and headache here is all. But those should work good. And uh, I'm going to string this up now and check the intonation and everything while I've got it right here. And uh, I'll probably condition the fretboard. I mean, there's no better time when you get the strings off. Check everything over good. You know, check your frets. Or if you've been feeling a sharp end somewhere, it's a good time to take care of it. And should be good as new here. I do need to put another string tree. Either that or I'm going to make a three tree for this one. Uh, just to get more break angle. This does break pretty good over this headstock. It's got quite a little skull up here, so. But sometimes you still need to install one, really for the G string more than anything. It seems like the G string needs it the worst, you know. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching that, and I hope that helps. And, uh, you know, like I said, just take your time. It's not really a tough job. And, uh, you know, a good set of tuners makes a a guitar way you know much better it's frustrating when the tuners don't work it won't stay in tune or they you know we've all been there it's worth it when I, if i get a bad tuner the whole set goes usually i just get rid of them and you know i'll keep keep the good ones for spares in case something comes in that has a similar tuner or the same tuner and save somebody from buying a set you know what i mean but me personally, when one goes, that's it. I put different ones on and, and get rid of the problem. So, all right, we'll see you soon, guys. Be good. Okie doke.